come to Albuquerque, New Mexico, but I came to New Mexico and I was excited to get here. Then I got here. And I feel that the world should know like five things before planning that trip to New Mexico. Five. Number one, if you are looking for a melting pot, if you need to experience some diversity and some inclusion in your life, come here. Now, no matter where you go in the world, you're going to have different races and different cultures and different age groups, but it's nothing like here. Like, bruh, I don't run into every race on the Monopoly board. I'm positive that I ran into an alien, no pun intended, from another planet. You got Mexicans, you got Native Americans, you got Black Americans, you got Haitian Americans, you got Caucasian white folks, you got people from Texas. I don't even know how people from Texas and Florida get down here, but they are here. If you are a person that leads some diversity, if you are a person that needs to experience something different, if you are a person that's tired of being around the same type of humans every day then i suggest that you buy you a one-way plane ticket to new mexico i promise that you will see more colors than dennis rodman has ever had in his head um yeah number two if you need another condiment to put on your food new mexico got this stuff called green chili bruh now in Texas, they got spicy ketchup from Whataburger. In Florida, we put ketchup on everything. In Chicago, they put mustard on their hot dogs. In New Mexico, this green chili can go on everything and anything. A burrito, a hot dog, eggs, a hamburger. If you're a person that's trying to spice up your relationship, just go into that room, turn her around, and pour green chili down her spine, I promise you, it will set the party off right. Green chili is the delicacy down here. Any state that's trying to compete with, any condom, New Mexico, green chili, got it on. That's lock. Number three, before you come here, please make sure you can breathe. Now it's already tough being chubby. It's already tough being out of breath, dog. I went from Florida, the bottom of the bottom, the lowest land. Everything gets flat. Everything gets flat footed. We even walk like ducks. I got up here, as soon as I got off the, the plane, the altitude in the atmosphere. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need some more lungs and kidneys and breathing apparatuses because this elevation is crazy. I ain't never breathed before. Oh, wait, you have high and then you got New Mexico high. I don't do no kind of drugs, but if I was a person that wanted to chief like Cheech and Chong, I might get high and never come down. It's like you're breathing helium up here. Oh my God. Number four, New Mexico is sneaky beautiful. Every state is known for something. Florida, we known for our beaches. Hawaii, they known for just being the first thing that the Lord created. Utah was known for their snow caps. New Mexico, when I say the scenery, when I say the land, when I say the open range, it is absolutely beautiful. It's so pretty that it made a thug like me almost shed a tilt. Because <laughs> I ain't expecting this when I came up here. I expected to see nothing but dirt and deserts and sand and walking over people's bodies that couldn't pay their bets in Las Vegas. But this is absolutely beautiful. The trees, the four seasons, the leaves. It snowed a little bit. It touched me in my nose. And I was like, boop, you stay there. No, I love you. If you want to cry, come here for the pictures. Not for the L, but for the pictures. New Mexico is absolutely gorgeous. And number five, New Mexico is the first place I've been to where the people that live here have no clue how good they got it. Now, when I said I was coming to Albuquerque, New Mexico, there was a lot of jokes like stay inside, lock your car doors, keep your wallet away from you. People rob, people steal. Y'all better understand, people stealing, people rob everywhere you go. New Mexico folks, to me, seem like they don't understand how beautiful their land is. They may not know how good they got it sometimes. I absolutely love your state. I only experience your state as a visitor and not a permanent resident. So my opinion may change, but if somebody want to come somewhere and experience inclusion and great food and beautiful weather, if you want to train as an Olympic runner, I definitely suggest you coming here. With all that other stuff, I ain't got no opinion on that. So with no further ado, it's your boy Josh Prey saying, this is the state of inclusion and diversity. And I think I'm high because the altitude has just hit me on a, I got the munchies.